Hey, this is Flo and welcome back to another video covering SwiftUI 3 and generally what's new in WWDC 2021. As you might have uh, already seen, there is a new bottom sheet API, but it's only available in UI kit at the moment. But someone, and uh, that someone is named Adam, uh, actually already created a wrapper for SwiftUI, which is also just called bottom sheet. And it's available on GitHub here, and today I will just show you how to add it to your project and then use it inside of SwiftUI, and it's really, really simple. Okay, so as you can see, you can just add it via the Swift Package Manager. So let me just copy the URL and go back into Xcode. All of the Swift Package Manager stuff changed a tiny bit in Xcode 15, uh, Xcode 13, sorry. So now you just go to File, Add Packages, and then you just paste in the GitHub URL up here. I already pasted it in, so my Xcode actually remembered it. So now I can select the bottom sheet and uh, hit Add Package. Now I have already added it, but this is how you would do it. Okay. And then um, uh, Xcode does that automatically for you, but sometimes you want to also um, add it to a specific target, so you would just do that in here in the Project Navigator or in the uh, Project Settings. Okay, so now that we have bottom sheet imported or added to the project, we also need to import it in our code, just like that. And now it's actually very simple to use. So I've already created a very tiny sample project here with just a single Boolean state variable and a button that changes that variable to true if you want to show the sheet, just to try it out. Now, the way you do it is basically the same as for the dot sheet modifier, which is native in SwiftUI. You just say dot bottom sheet, and you can see there are two different initializers. And um, I will take this larger one actually, but then remove most of the um, parameters. So first of all, you need the is presented variable, which is the binding to our show sheet boolean. Then you can also specify which sizes basically you want the sheet to have. There is dot medium, and there is also large and I will show you them in practice in just a second and then uh, all of the rest you can look into yourself if you want to let me just get rid of them but you obviously need your content so just hit enter there and Xcode will automatically transform it into a trailing closure and just for this example I will just um, put a text element here hello from the bottom sheet all right now, if we uh, resume this in the canvas and hit play, you will actually see it not working. And I personally don't know um, why this is happening, but if you run it in the simulator, like I'm doing right now, then it will work without any issues. So if we hit the trigger sheet button, then the bottom sheet comes up in the medium size class or in the medium detent because we specified over here that medium is available and iOS just prefers that and then the user can actually drag it up and it becomes large and then you can drag it down to be medium again or pull it completely away and it will be gone and you can trigger it again, make it larger or just hide it again. Okay, so that is already it. I just wanted to show you how easy it is to use the new bottom sheet API in SwiftUI using this awesome little package from Adam. All right, that's it for me. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one.